A year and a half, two years ago, I came to you and I had questions about path and purpose and, and also where are my millions and that type of thing. And what I walked away with was spend more time in appreciation. Don't think happy thoughts or walk through happy neighborhoods where you want to live for the purpose of getting the manifestation. Do it for the bliss that it brings you. I feel like I could go on rampages of appreciation. I could tell you I feel abundant. I could do what you were asking the other lady with the white glasses to do and I could go off about how abundant I feel. And, and I am. And I don't pull up the roots to take score very often. But now as I'm coming to this seminar, I realize, wow, I thought, sure enough, one day after I left the seminar last year, I won the lottery for $20 million and that'd be that. And, and still, instead you won the happiness lottery. Yeah. I, <laughs> it's great. I, I am very happy. And so the next thing you're not going to say to us is, now I've paid the price of happiness. Where's my stuff? <laughs> It, it, the feeling place is more like this. I know it's there. I feel it there. I cannot believe I have not opened my door and there is like a box or something. All right, so like, you know, you know, it's where. Yeah, I know it's there, but, here, but it's, feel this distinction. I know it's there, and we know that you know it's there. It's there in my vibrational reality. Yeah, yeah. You know, the only thing you got to do is make there here. Okay. And it, now, now hear this. In other words, we're talking about this vibrational reality, which from a manifestational standpoint sounds like future tense. No, but from a happiness standpoint, it is present tense. So in the moment that you stop taking score about the manifestations that have occurred so that the happiness is here and now, which means the, the realization of all that creation is here and now, when it's here instead of there, then you're finally that cooperative component and then the floodgates have to open mm -hmm. and the abundance has to pour in in a way that others then can see it not just you feeling in other words there, feel the subtle difference between feeling you're on the brink of something mm -hmm. and feeling the fullness of it and that's why we're saying make it emotional not factual make it vibrational not manifestational mm -hmm. and you're there you're here so closer than ever before just stay with it as always closer than ever before and stop quibbling over manifestation mm -hmm. if you'll take manifestation out of the equation and let it be about in this moment how do i feel in this moment how do i feel in this moment how do i feel and, and i can sense that like as my girlfriend and i dialogue about what houses we want to buy and cars it doesn't even matter that it hasn't happened because we get into that place of what it feels like and how much fun it would be to do that so I know but what you're still, saying. But still, there's a little present tenseness in this. The house we're going to buy, right. the, the money that's going to come, mm. the manifestation that's yet to happen. Mm -hmm. You're still on the outside of that, where if you turn it just a little bit, the happiness we are in, the joy I feel right now, the alignment that is me, right. the, the uh, combining the, the fullness of who I am, the exhilaration I feel in other words present tense it present tense it up so the expectation is there that that, but the would, lack be, that would be a fun game for all of you to play in other words listen how often in a day you're speaking of something yet, yet to, to come happen. and that yet to come means that it's there not here which means it's not your point of attraction yet it's got to feel like here I I am I am the vibrational recipient or receiver, I, I beingness, mm. result of. Yeah. And, and it comes back to where we started in the conversation with you because, because manif the manifestation matters so much to so many because the manifestation is necessary for others to behold it. In other words, it, it's, it's an impossible thing to convince your neighbors of the validity of your vibrational reality because they can't see it and nobody can feel your vibrational reality that you, than you. So it's about making a partnership with your source and that being enough, not needing to make partnerships with this one and this one and this one and this one and this right. one who can see it. That really is the distinction that we're talking about.
and and you said all the right words you said I am my own person I know who I am I stand I stand on my own two feet I I feel complete in who I am you said all the right words that were reflecting back to you but but that's what you've got to know okay. this is this is who I, I am an abundant being I am an abundant being and the current reality that others are using to determine whether they think I am an abundant being are bogus because right. the emotion that I continually sustain because I've decided to and I practice it that is the way I stake my claim to the abundance that is me and once you determinedly determinedly and deliberately stake your claim and hold that until you until it's not just a hope and not even just a belief it's a knowing this is who I am so that nothing shakes you from your core of knowing your abundance right. in other words the the your financial system could collapse do you know it did it did yeah. it's the best thing that has ever happened to you it did and there are crazy people managing on a global level and look at what is still going on they don't have a clue what they're doing they have not a clue and 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 we don't fault them for it nobody no industry no collection of minds nobody has the capacity to understand all of the vibrational components that make up this huge global Oh, yeah. economy nobody gets it and nobody needs to get it because the vortex of creation the vortex of well-being is huge you don't need to understand it mm -hmm. you just need to feel it and mm -hmm. know it by staking your claim and practicing the thought of it so that then someone says oh yeah economy's collapsing and you say really where should we have lunch no I do in fact and, through the whole and thing they say, yeah. 2012 everything everything everything's gonna happen do you know there are bunkers there are bunkers in the ground Reserves, where yep. people in the know are are all gonna go and you say really yeah I'm buying a boat <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm living life fully oh but there's danger afoot do you know that when you get on an airplane they are so worried that somebody might sneak on with something <sighs> that they are now body scanning and frisking and searching and looking and you say really what movie are we gonna watch yeah. I I live in this world of well-being the universe is delivering a whole different program to me